Patricia Lake, Patricia Lake, Patricia Lake. It's nice. Oh, that's the other side of Patricia Lake. It's crystal clear water. And look at that mountain. I know this is a glacial fed lake so it, it will be cold yeah it's cold it's freezing cold I'm not sure what mountain is that. I have to Google it later. There are people on the other side of the lake. Touch me. Come here. Uh. In September 1942, Mr. Geoffrey Pike, scientific advisor to Lord Mountbatten, Chief of Combined Operations Great Britain suggested that ships could be made from ice. The Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill saw these as a way to protect shipping routes to North America with a fleet of gigantic unsinkable aircraft carriers. In Canada, the National Research Council undertook cold weather tests under stringent war time secrecy. The principal activity carried out here at Patricia Lake was the construction of one to 50 scale model to obtain experience in building large ice structures and information on how this could be insulated and cooled to prevent melting. The model was anchored near the southwest shore of Patricia Lake. Observations of its performance and measurements of the amount of cooling required to keep it from melting were made through the summer of 1943. By the fall, the National Research Council had, so, had shown that it was technically possible to build ice ships, but the enormous cost of materials and labor made it impractical. Refrigeration equipment was removed from the model, the ice soon melted, and the heavily insulated wooden frame sank to the lake bottom. Mm. Information from Project Habakkuk on the, on the properties of ice and the use of ice for structures can be used today to build roads and aircraft runways in remote areas and temporary offshore drilling platforms in the Arctic. It's beautiful out here. It's getting cold. It's now 4 10 and it's a bit chilly. But this view is fantastic. There should be a 
a red chair here overlooking that mountain it was really good